What's going on there guys? Good morning, uh, good afternoon out there. It is the Earth Master on live stream on this 12-12-2021 uh, date. About 10.20 a.m. California time. Latest quake out there on the Earthquake 3D globe. Check this out. A 3.0 right around the southern Ohio area striking the map. Uh, this comes after some further uptick in movement off the coast of Oregon with a 4.4. Go ahead and check out the activity kicking off out here uh, in some odd spots out there. Of course, overnight, early this morning, we had a 6.5 way down south here in Aquarius Island region, 10 kilometers uh, for the depth of that earthquake. There's the earthquake activity kicking up here, ramping up, it seems like. We had that 4.4 uh, kick up off the coast of Oregon, and then just a, just a very quick couple seconds later a 3.0 in ohio let's go ahead and see if this is an accurate earthquake sometimes uh this activity does get let's see it looks like it has been reviewed by a seismologist and a few folks a reported feeling this earthquake near manchester ohio looks like some light to uh potentially moderate shaking this is a uh very shallow earthquake m 3.0 the depth of one kilometer so very shallow uh of course the shallower the earthquakes the more likelihood of folks uh feeling it in the region looks like manchester west union aberdeen ripley area all seen uh, a little bit of reports there from that 3.0 earthquake that struck in the ohio area i just can't uh I don't recall if this area has ever seen earthquake activity. Of course, the New Madrid zone sits way down south here. And of course, you got the uh, all the mountain ranges, so it kind of looks like it's right up against there. I don't, as far as historical data goes, there is a little bit of activity uh, since about 1900 around the 4.5 to 5.0 range uh, northeast of Le Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, and this epicenter of the 3.0 struck about 20. Five, uh, maybe about 40 miles to the northeast of there uh, so it's kind of looks like it's right smack dab on the looks like it's on the directly on the border I don't think you can get any closer than that right there in the uh, wow Kentucky Ohio border so it's kind of kind of crazy anyway let's go ahead and jump over and check out the activity over here along the west coast too like i say these things occurring just within seconds of each other within seconds and uh we see that a lot in certain uh certain areas with uh like i said i've always been a firm believer of um, pressure transfer and, and uh, um, distant plate adjustment of course around this region here is the uh just on the east side of the rocky mountains in a fashion i'll have to cover that a little bit later on when it comes to the um, the uh, north american craton area it's an area of land mass it's relatively stable we see earthquake activity uh, and deformation meaning the, the mountains uh, around that region of uh, relatively low seismic activity through the uh, uh, hundreds of thousands millions of years uh, and it looks like it's right up against that area anyway we'll check that out a little bit later i want to get over here to the west coast uh, where we're seeing a little bit of movement kick up once again with a 4.4 off the Oregon coastline. Uh, it's been relatively quiet. In fact, it was quiet all day yesterday with uh, fairly, uh, I don't think we've seen even one quake off the coast of Oregon. So uh, this could be the start of potential uptick. We did see uh, quite a bit of earthquake activity overnight, folks. Look at this movement up here to the northwestern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. This area has been awfully quiet and it's been in my eyeball for or it's been in my radar for uh, a few months now I've seen some deeper earthquake activity in this region with quite a few forest kick up here around the japan area and the uh, kurokamchaka trench all that area just uh, looking like it's under quite a bit of pressure over the last 24 hours and of course a swarm of movement over here to the west as well afghanistan pakistan iran area all seeing some earthquake activity within the last 24 hours. Um, Fiji, Kermadec Trench, pretty quiet. We did have one 4.1 in the Fiji uh, region, pretty deep, 350 kilometers. Kermadec Trench, all quiet. Of course, we did see some deeper movement here uh, last week. 
and uh, all that activity of course kind of putting pressure out here along the western part of the area with that 6.5 kicking up here uh, Macquarie Island this area has seen quite a bit of earthquake activity over time check out the key real quick looks like uh, uh, quite a few fives uh, 5 to 6.0 range some bigger ones within the vicinity it looks like but uh, it's for now let's just see a 6.5 no aftershock activity being recorded in that region uh, let's see what else we got here the Aleutian Trench kind of ramping up a little bit overnight some further movement this activity wasn't here when I did the update video last night we are seeing some further uh, movement around the uh, Davidoff volcano 4.5 along the Aleutian Trench this one a subduction zone earthquake with the depth there of 47 3 kilometers and uh, another one you can kind of see that activity just uh, lining up along the Aleutian Trench inland earthquake activity through the Anchorage up to uh, Fairbanks region showing uh, a little bit of microquake activity kicking up as well across the Alaska range but uh, kind of keep an eye on this region along the west coast now I, I just I get awfully uh, curious and and very concerned when we see just earthquake activity uh, within seconds of each other um, creating this uh, this earthquake activity from thousands of miles away here what is that about uh, 2,000 miles away guesstimating but I'm surprised they were just within seconds of each other so could be a could be a return of earthquake activity ramping up here along the west coast North American Pacific plate interaction a uh, swarm of activity up through the Puerto Rico Trench as well. Looking uh, overnight to see a swarm of three spread out around the region. Down south, South America. Uh, this activity here, some deeper movement near Bolivia. And uh, a shallower earthquake down south in the uh, Chile area with a 4.4. Pretty shallow along the subduction zone. Deep, sub, uh, deep subduction zone quakes here up north. Uh, south Sandwich Islands had that 5.0. Uh, that one's pretty deep as well. This whole region here has seen a swarm of uh, deep earthquake activity over the last week. So we're going to be uh, watching it pretty closely here, folks, uh, today. Looking at the uh, seismograph stations, look pretty inactive at the moment. Of course, the Oregon quakes will show up on the uh, BC station, uh, British Columbia station, which is this one right here. And also the uh, Petrolia Northern California station, uh, but as of right now, I don't see it. Uh, I don't see that showing up at all. Need to check the uh, review of this 4.4. See if this has been reviewed or not by a seismologist, which it has been. Looks like 12, 12, 17, 52. Yep, so alrighty, I'm gonna jump off here folks um, and enjoy our rainy day. I will be monitoring the live stream and the update or the uh, activity kind of kicking up and uh, um, returning to the region here along the west coast. And uh, if you're out there in Ohio, I'm kind of curious to see what that earthquake may have felt like. It's kind of a in an odd area. We don't see a whole lot of activity out there. It's been a while since I've seen an earthquake in the Ohio region, Ohio Kentucky border area. So let me know um, if you are out there and what it uh, felt like, and uh, we'll that will be uh, definitely appreciated. But man, check out all this activity overnight. That is a lot of movement. All right, guys, stay safe out there and uh, be prepared. We'll chat you guys a little bit later.